Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. This is Mad Hatter. Um, as you can see, the black is now out of my hair. This is basically what my natural hair color looks like. Basically shit. It's like a golden brown. Okay? And my sides are all bleached. But yet, the black is giving me a hard time. I don't know if anybody in the comment... It, Somebody leave down in the comments that does hair. Um, let me know why the bleach that I'm using now is not really taking the black out. I'm sorry about that. Um, I just wasted like almost like 20 minutes just wandering around the house trying to fix the TV and trying to help my sister out. Um, but I'm back. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Anybody in the comments can leave me a message and say, like, tell me why the bleach powder bleached the sides perfectly. Like, you can barely tell. It looks like skin. That's just hair right there. It looks like skin, but it's actually little stubble hair. Um, and the other side has more hair than the other because I, me and my twin shaved each other's side of the head. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I just want to let you, know, you guys know that, um, my mother actually is, sent me money and it is for six, six necklaces. I'm very happy that she finally decided to buy them because otherwise I would have just had to burn them. Um, once you get, once you basically put a target on the necklace or a person for the necklace, you can't give it to anybody else. It, it's that dedicated to be with that person. Um, but it's not for her. There's one in there for her, and it's the blue and white one with the seahorse on it. Um, little tiny locket thing, the seahorse. Um, the seahorse, the, the lockets are basically cosmetic jewelry, so be very careful. If I ever send you guys a, a necklace and you have a locket, unless it's a big one, um, then don't worry about it. But if it's one of them small little clip-on um, little tiny figures, like a gumball machine, where the gumball is actually shaking, I have those too. So... But if you have those, just be very careful with them. And I always send do's and don'ts on a paper or like a sticky note with the um, the items. Because there is stuff that you can and can't do with these necklaces. Uh, even though they're good and everything like that, they're blessed and everything like that, still, there is do's and don'ts. Okay? Um... But I just wanted to give you guys an update on basically my mental um, status right now. I'm like, yeah, I have, I'm very strongly paranoid still. Um, it's going to take a while, a while for the Topamax to actually leave my system. So my memory still is kind of foggy. Um, I still wake up in like cold sweats. I'm very confused and scared. Um, a lot of stuff. And it's not a good feeling to feel when you're 35 years old and you've been living in the same house with the same people for like four years, going on four years, and or five, I don't know. Um, and we lived in another apartment before that, this one, and we were there for, I think, maybe two two years. So I've been living in middle of town for like seven or eight years now. And I still don't know how to take the bus. I won't take the bus. Um, anxiety level would go over my head. Um, I really don't like being around a lot of people. That's why if you guys are wondering why I'm always videotaping or doing my videos in my room, it's because it's like a, it's like a comfort to me. And I don't like leaving that comfort and sometimes I have to because you got to go to the bathroom you got to eat you got to socialize in some f fashion with family and sometimes that's a disaster but 
you know, family is family. You're not going to, it's, it, once they're gone, they're gone. You, you can't really, you can't really get them back unless they reincarnate. Um, cause of my belief, if you guys, if anybody's new on this channel, just to let you know, I'm pagan. Um, I'm not no Satanist. I don't believe in hell. Well, I believe in seven layers of hell. <laughs> Almost like a seven layer dip. <laughs> But I do believe, I don't believe that there's just one devil ruling it all. I believe in many demons. Um, geez, I even have one. And he's not very nice. But he's from the east. He's not from the western area. And he's been with me ever since I was little. But, um, I deal with him in a lot of different ways. If I'm around positivity, it drains his... Basically, it drains his. Basically, it drains his energy and makes him very docile and like high, I guess. And he's easier to manage. Where if you're on constant negativity, and bickering, arguing, disagreements, he feeds off of that shit, and. I'm sorry I didn't leave a disclaimer, but I do cuss in my videos sometimes. I, I, it just comes out. I'm sorry. Um, but he feeds off the energy. Um, he goes by many names. He tells me all the time. He, like, flaunts it. He's very flamboyant, um, but he's from the Aztec era. So he has, like, these, like, like block platelets on his face. And certain designs and stuff like that. Tattoos, definitely. Uh, you always hear about dark, uh, black wolves. Well, this is like a black version of a really, really... Probably about 11 story high. They can get about that height. About that height, yeah. And they can be very... They can be small as a mouse. Or even smaller than that. Or be their full height. And they range in heights because one's older than the other. The youngest is Michael. He's very docile and everything like that. He's a very nice boy. He has autism. He's not a boy. He's I call him Kitsune. You can look it up. It's from the east area. You know, the eastern area. Asia, China. They believed in him back then. They were gods and they were given altars and stuff like that. But Michael doesn't have an altar anymore. So he always stays with me, and he's more of a medical kind of person. Because with autism, every child in real life, real children that suffer with autism on different spectrums um, like certain things, and they keep that idea in their head to the point where they constantly do it every day. My nephew, he likes technology. He, You can give him a phone that's not even unlocked, has a password, hasn't been even restarted, done up, and everything like my phone. And he would have the password already figured out, already set up your phone, and he'll probably put a bunch of games on your phone, too. So, you know, my nephew is just like that. He's very, very intelligent, even though sometimes he, he goes through his little dips and downs. But he's very he's very a talented kid child. I really see a lot in his future, and I am very proud of him. I really am, and I even though I argue with him, even though I bicker with him or get jealous of him, I I'm like a friend in an aunt, so he can always come to me whenever he wants. It doesn't matter what the what he wants to know about, but sometimes like if it's personal, not about me or anything like that. Anything personal, I keep my mouth shut. I just say, you gotta talk to your mother about this kind of stuff. You can't talk to auntie. Because that's not my role. My role is just to keep him safe. Keep him... Give him water. Help him out if he needs help in the shower or something like that. You know, anything like that, like around the house. I do have appointments where I do have to leave the house for a while. But I always make sure to come back as soon as possible. Just so that he would feel comfortable. Um, 
I don't like leaving him by himself because I feel a motherly role, basically. Basically, I feel motherly around him a lot. Um, since I can't have children, um, I basically treat him as if he was my son too. So I, I don't discipline him. I do say some stuff to him and I'm very sorry if he sees my video. I apologize, Boopy. Okay? That's what we call him because his other brother is Booki and this one's Boopy and then we got his father. Because they're all three Blaine Wilsons. So we had to come up with nicknames somehow, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, the way my sister spells his nickname is uh, B-O-O-P-I-E. That doesn't spell boopy. But maybe she uses the I as an E. Because you can do that. Um, but I gotta go. Um, I'm sorry for le leaving you guys stranded for a long time without making videos, but I hope, you know, soon that I get back on my feet after this bruise heals up more and I can walk a lot better. I'm still having issues with bending and like the stretching part because I used to stretch all the time before during me waking up and now every time I do that, it hurts real bad. So yeah. But I love you guys, and let me know what you guys think about my hair. Because I am going to, I'm taking my time with the bleach. Because I don't want my hair to fall out again. We all kind of seen what that looked like. And that was creepy. And I want my bangs. This took a while to grow back. Okay? So I'm taking my time getting this poop color out of my hair. This actually looks like my hair color once my blonde went away. It looks like my natural hair color, if it was all stripped, everything was stripped out and it was down to my, like, natural hair color, this would probably be my natural hair color. Um, cause I was blonde when I was growing up and then it turned dirty blonde, then brown. So, yeah, basically, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I got some little stragglers here when I got my hair cut, but, you know, what can you do? Uh, if you guys need any advice on tattoos, like if you guys want tattoos, you basically have to have a meaning for it. If you just get it because it's, oh, it's pretty, no. Everybody is, that has a Native American background or some kind of background, like uh, Hawaiian or Native American, which there's a lot of us. There's a lot of Native Americans and everything like that. We, My family believes that if you want a tattoo, it has to have a meaning. And so far, all three of mine do. I am still waiting to get a fourth one. Because I want to put my dead, my my brother that passed away at birth, I'm getting him a tattoo on my other hand. On um, this hand. Um, almost similar as this, but it's going to be a, a puppy paw. Like, you know the, the footprints that they talk about for babies? Well, this is going to be Paw Prince, and it's going to have his name and it's, well, his initials. And then, um, and then his date, and then, well, he died in the same day. So basically, it'll just have a date. Um, but I wish he was alive, because I would have loved to have more brothers to rough up, you know, than the two other ones I have. But, you know... Nobody can have everything that they want. But I love this arch thing that's going right now. Um, I just ruined it. But I'll talk to you guys later. It is time for the tea party. Bye-bye. Have a happy night.